I hope you're on the stream like I do as well. <laughs> okay, guys, if you don't know, I'm still one of the virgins that is trending in the world, and people are asking questions. When the grace of God is upon you, it's disgrace that has go to your enemy. And I'm here with um, some icon, great people in the country. I'm still in Maryland, and I'm having guess what? That mean the whole Maryland, the chief officer. Yes, the admin of Maryland is here with me today. And mm -hmm. I'm also having um, one of the most beautiful women on earth. She can look very well. You see, our colors are different from them. <laughs> my dear, let me not talk much. When you look at me, you know that I've not made it. You see my color, but I must make it before I leave here. And if you look at him, you see his color will tell you that he has made it. <laughs> and when you look at her, you know that already. Making and making heaven is two things. <laughs> and we look at this as already staying in heaven. They have they have seats. It's me now that is walking my way. And I know so God is going to do it. Amen. All right. So, my brother, welcome, please, sir. Can you introduce yourself to us, please? Um, my name is Chinwiko, engineer Chinwiko Biozo. Ebuana Abanya Wan Nazayo. And you, ma'am? Uh, my name is Chikazem C. Ohanele. Okay. Utinko Zion Worldwide. Oh, Utinko. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You. And you, ma'am? Uh, Sister May Rose Otubo. Hmm. Look at her voice. No, the, see, when you make, see, when there is a grace to make it and grace of making it is different. Mm -hmm. You see, her voice is low. We tell you that <laughs> God live in your house. Yeah, it's like a desert. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay. And guys, I was so surprised that Everybody here are Zionists. Zion is making wave. Zion have entered a lot of people. Right. Mom, I'm going to start with you. Despite all this criticizing that have been coming on social media, definitely you've been seeing them. Why have you not left Zion and Ibukobi go away? You leave Zion? Yes. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't think so. With all the criticism going on, both here in Nigeria, some of my friends, they will send me, when I, some of them, I don't force anybody to join Zion because my sister in Nigeria encouraged me, I was there. Then, after going to the Facebook, watching our daddy and everything, I made a comment. Even when I met him one-on-one, -on -one, I said, the first time I saw you, I said, look at this handsome guy, what is he doing in the Facebook? Is this one coming to deceive people? So I called my sister. My sister said, no, sister, no, 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 just enter. She brought me the names of all our admins. So I did, I just look at it. So I chose one person, called her, she registered me. Then we are preparing for the first hundred days. So what happened? I became, I was sick. That is within me that knows what is going on with me. Sometimes, you know, I will, I will be praying. And when I pray, I think that's when that thing, you know, comes more. Even when I came to Lagos, when it was in the old office, I was at the window, the thing was coming more. So anybody that is telling me to leave Zion or what is going on in Zion. What was that thing that is coming on? What, what was wrong with you? Um, to me, it's more spiritual than physical. But after I met with Daddy, he prayed for me, gave me my own prayers. I don't say that again. That is how it's that just like that. I even went to hospital for it. Even my doctor followed up with what was wrong with me. But within me, I knew it's not ordinary. So the doctor wrote me medication. It looks like uh, dizziness, but it's not. He wrote some medication. I told my doctor, here, you're free to discuss with your doctor. I said, doc, you know, I'm not going to take this medication. He said, see why? I said, I'm going to take seraphic oil, and I'll be fine. By then, I got a little bit from my sister from back home. He gave it to somebody. So after that, the thing cleared. And then I went to Zion. I saw that he prayed for me. Gave me my prayers and I did up to now. I have not witnessed it. So anybody telling me, just like my mom will say, my mom listens. They will say, if anybody sees something 
more than Zion, eat, eat alone, don't give me. <laughs> Anybody telling me, somebody sent me a clip, you know, of all the gist going on in Nigeria, the one that is involved with somebody, somebody, what he's saying. I called that my sister. I said, is that all you said, the bad one? Why are you sending this to me? It's not moving me. I'm getting more people who wants to be a member. As of last week, I registered through my admin. I don't like bothering my immediate admin, so sometimes I give it out. So what I'm saying is I will be a Zionite till I break no more. Okay. Um, guys, for your information, don't tell me on the comment section and said, Abu Kobi, I've given me money, come and give them. Or I'm the one that gave them money. Nigeria, if it will lie. I am, see, I am no broke in Jesus' name. But these people, I don't have buying. I remove my cap. She buying. Give who money? No, because people will come online and say that I have gone to get people okay. to come and feast them for this interview. Yeah. I, you guys, did you plan, did you know I'm going to interview you? No. Did I call you on the phone? I want to interview yeah. you. Oh, so yeah. this, they are my, they, they are Zionite, they are my fans, my family. Yeah. So when I saw them, I said, I want to hear from them yeah. what really inspired them to still keep watching Zion and to still keep being a Zionist. So, Mama, thank you for that. But I want to know how much did I pay you? <laughs> I will give you something when you're leaving. <laughs> 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 This is you getting names. Jeez, are you serious? Miss, here's your bag. You want to hear story? Yes, sir. What are you still doing here? You have to leave my this. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Okay. Uh, thank you for that, ma'am. Um, let's meet you, our sister. Um, please, can you tell us your name again? And before that, I want to know, with your age and experience, because believe me, ma, you're not... You look like a lady of 29, 30. <laughs> you, 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 you know, with the, when the grace of God is on you, you look younger yes. than your age. Because I can show you a lot of people of your age that if you see them, you will ask, hey, are they great, they have a great, um, great grandma? Like, I see they have, they have grand, 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 grand. Yeah. Do you understand it? Mm -hmm. But the grace of God in your life have made you look this beautiful. Mom, I want to ask you the simple question. What has Ebuko be teaching Lifestyle, Zionite, added to your life and your family. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And, um, Zion, we move. Mm -hmm. My name again is Sister Meiruz Otugo. So I didn't say where I'm from. I'm from Uruala, in that or not local government in Nigeria. So with your question, I mean so many things. And before I start, I will give honor to who honor is due. I shouldn't have known Zion without this young lady. It's just like a coincidence. Oh, she was the one? Oh, yes. You know, that was 20... You know, we went for a graduation in um, Atlanta. And, you know, she just called me. You know, they called me, ma'am. There is something going on. I said, what is this? So he brought the picture of her daddy. You know, then, you know, I said, God, just stop. You know, that's what I told her. I said, this young man, no, he's handsome. He's very handsome. Said, very, very handsome. You know, to me, I say, Olu Jo, Olu Jo Mwai. You know, you can never Olu Mwaje. That's what I say. Okay. You know, so I was just that, and I made that thing I'm not believe anything. So I told her, she said, No, 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 come back. You know, you like to research, go and think about yeah, this yeah. and come back. You know, of course, I did my research. And I went back and back, you know, back to 2029, 20, you know, how he was born and everything. I said, Oh, this is really authentic. Mm. You know, this is no fake. This is authentic. Because, um, you know, what people are having problem now is they don't understand that two different powers this going on now. His zone is original. It's in it. When something is in it, it's inborn. Though other people are getting it from theology. You read and read and read from stage one, stage two. But his zone is from the childhood, from inborn when he was at womb. So that's what people are not understanding. You can have that spirit, you know. You can have that grace, but there are two different things. You know, the one that went to school, theology, you can read and read, and then to know God, you read more. This is already given to this man. Mm. He's already, you know, born yeah, with it. Yeah. So it's the way they are looking at him, they don't understand, you know. 
So I have done my research and really believed that, you know, this is the man. And to me, you know, I, I'm a staunch Catholic. I was born Catholic. To mention that the family that I grew up, nobody goes to native doctor. So nobody, even I'm the only one in my family that is a Zionist. Because to them, if he's not Catholic, you know, to them. But this man is very wise. I was telling them, you know, he's a Catholic, but he knows what is ahead. Mm -hmm. He's going to meet many, uh, you know, obstructions on the way, oppositions. And that's why he called it non-denominational. Mm -hmm. You know, because if he's a Catholic, he put that Catholic from whom they will distinguish it. Mm -hmm. He's very smart. So to him, you know, for me being a Zionist now, it has really changed my life. I'm a better Catholic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before, you know, doing fasting, I'm not a good one. What is fasting? You know, just this. But believe you now, I haven't eaten since 6 o'clock, and I'm going to break it, and now it's 6 p.m. Because of him, you know, this is what I because got from him. From my brother, from my daddy, from his teachings. Who? Teachings, brother. Brother Okay, that is teaching. his name. Yes, that's wow. his name. So from his teaching, is so many things you have to offer. You have to give up. Fasting. You know, and especially when you do that fasting, you are in a special grace. Mm. You are in a different mm -hmm. place. You know, there's something that, you know, people don't understand. So he has made me a better, I'm a Catholic, but I would say I'm a better Catholic. You know, so that's what I have got from him. You know, there are many things that I will react before people will say, I would just like, is that Mary again? You know, I'm totally different. You know, he's preaching and especially when he's incorporating the youth. I mean, the youth is so much. I love it. You know, you know, real preaching, very raw. The first time, you know, I have to stop listening to that. I was just like asking people, what is this affair? You know, oh, I don't know what those things are. Okay, your mom. I don't know. I didn't know. Oh, wow. I didn't know. You know Sister, it's good for you. You didn't know. I didn't. I'm telling you, I'm just nothing. You know, what is, uh, you know, a, a more you know, mm. you know, I didn't mm. know what are those things, you know. Mm. So, but, you know, coming to him, I said, is that really, is that people, are there people doing something like that? That's what I was asking. Until I started listening to the testimony of young youth, you know, what people are, you know. So he has really moved Nigeria to a better place. Believe you me, you, if you are looking about kidnapping, you know, all those things, I think to me, they have caught down with this man. He has brought a lot of changes, you know. What is happening now is pure jealousy. Now, that's the way I look at it. Thank you very much. He has special power. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so guys, you've heard. Now, if you notice something about her words, you know, every of them that have speak on this channel, you can feel the power in the voice. It's not that they just want to talk. It's just that they want to express. And if you even give them book notes to write the kind of grace that is in Zion, or how positive and what the grace of God of God of Omicheva um, Fancha have done in their family, they will keep writing for one year, they are not done writing it. First of all, as she said, she said the youth of our generation that is changing, that are becoming yes. something good, many of them are coming through evangelists. Yes. Yes. A man that would preach, yes. yes. a man that would preach, teach, say it the way mm -hmm. it is. Do you know why? Because he's not victim. If he's victim, he cannot say it. How many prophets, pastor? or whatever in the ministry that will be able to say it the way he does. That is what our sister is trying to say. Especially those of that we don't understand the English. <laughs> okay, let me go straight to our admin. Sir, this is a serious question. Taking the position of a leader is not just by, I want to take it, or you've been elected for. Challenges are there. Before you choose to work under the grace of God that is working in Zion and as well working under the leadership of evangelist Chukwe Bukano Ziobi operating in the atmosphere of Umechara Fancha, Okuchara Fancha, and Ofuchara Fancha. These are angels, grace, power that evangelist Chukwe Bukano Ziobi is working under. And you are also working under him. Now, getting to that position. What really convinced you that evangelist Chukwe Bukano Ziobi should be a man you want to serve under the grace? Um, I will start with this song. Okay. 
And this is the song that always moved me. Wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, if I remember this song, things change around me. In a one way, on way, a ya in a yendo. Okwa gibu mwon eri mwon. Oke mwon kene ryo kata. So gi onye dielu. Onye dielu. Chokum dielu. So gi onye kwe siri ryo tito. So starting from there. When you see reality. You can identify with it. Hmm. My uncle who... I grew up on that said, success have many brothers and sisters, but failure is an orphan. Mm. And Wise. you have to be strong to survive. But when you come to the strong, the wise will excel. You understand? Yes, sir. So deciding to walk under him is what I saw with my eyes what I feel being around and what I experienced in me. Mm. Because I went to Zion. I just, we saw Zion on Facebook. That's how we saw Zion. And I decided to go. I didn't consult anybody. Just get myself together. One February. I just said out. Came to Zion. I booked an appointment by phone call. That's what, how I did it. Sorry, those of you that um, have been saying booking appointment, whatever, whatever, you heard him now. He booked it and he went there. Let's continue. Yes, sir. I booked an appointment and I went to Zion. That was, I think that was 2000, 2021, February. It's either 2020 or 2021. I think it's 2021. It's 2020, February. I went there, met him. Uh, he would get to my turn. I went in. And uh, what, I, what I feel getting into that office, sitting down and getting into that office was a different atmosphere. I've never <laughs> felt that before. Mm, true. I've been there, so I know what you're talking about. I have never, ever in my life felt that before. Is like, is either you change or you live the way you are. And remain where you are. Uh, and remain <laughs> where you are. So it's for you to choose to move forward. And that was a line of action that you have to take right away you don't have it's not going let me go out and come back in and after that encounter he gave me my prayers and i left mm -hmm. came back started my prayers and seeing things change seeing life change seeing that this life have principle and if you follow that principle principles. things must change mm. You understand? Is when you fall out of that principle, then you can go back. You, you might be drawn back. And that principle was part of the things that guided me. Hmm. So how, how have this grace now hit you? Like, you know, looking at you, before you get to know Zion, I believe you have started seeing money. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have started getting to a particular level of your life. Now, how speed was he when you get in contact with Zion? Was there any change around you financially, uh, academically, and, you know, boom, that kind there, of thing? There was, um, there was a sporadic speed up. When you say sporadic, you know something just... I know, I know, I know the meaning up. is uh, some people from so, Nigeria. Okay. No, I'm not from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> no, first, no, first. In things. And... Um, Another thing that uh, by the time I met him, I've not started building a house in the village. Ah. I've not opened anywhere. Actually, I was trying to buy a place that I will start. But 
after that encounter, the people that refused to sell the place decided to sell it to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, that in, I met him again the second time. Oh. And after that second time, from Zion, I went straight to village. And that day, that same day I got to the village, I started the foundation. I started the foundation of the house. I started the foundation of the faith. After meeting evangelism. Yes, the second time. So you, that means, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. All your life in the U.S., mm -hmm. all the things while you're in the U.S., mm -hmm. you've not been able to even get a property. Or get, let me say, start the building in the, in in the, the, village. In the village. But after encountering evangelists, you, yes. know, Zubi, you started. So how much did I pay you for this interview? <laughs> I don't know how much you have. And hey! I, I, will not <laughs> I don't know how much you have mm. that you can give me mm. that will make me to even sit here with you for your information let me tell you this now um before i go further so that you will not say he, i gave him money this man did, i don't know how to do it this is my destiny one of my destiny and one of them because coming to maryland he was the one that sponsored it he paid my flight ticket my dear paid my flight ticket paid for my hotel paid for the food i'm eating he said mc anything you want i'm taking care of it do you know what it means so how much will i pay him that is jimmy please <laughs> I want to tell you thank you so much for everything. When I clap for him, for me now, I clap for him. I clap for him. So, uh, to all Zionites, please, he is the one that sponsored me coming to Maryland. He said, Zion Fesson, we want you in Maryland. I want you, and I'm going to take care of your bills. Because now, nah, man, how much I got to call you? My money I brought here was $1.75. <laughs> $1.75. Now I got to call. Now I got to call. the flight. The flight ticket, if I tell you how much, it wasn't easy. But oh, you know. here I am in Maryland. I'm toying, if not because of the grace of God in Evangelist Chukwe Bukhari. Yeah, yeah. So, the last question I want to ask, Ma, mm -hmm. there are a lot of criticism going on on social media. What message did you have to Evangelist Chukwe Bukhari, not to them? What advice will you, if you are in that position? Because I, I, I believe the media will watch this to, to give it to Daddy. What advice will you give daddy leave these people for now you know um what i would say to him is to keep his good work believe in himself he has been chosen by god he should keep focus stay positive be optimistic and focus on his ministry and his mission so all those side tracks they're trying to you know um you know, obstruct him, you know, just make him not to focus on what he's doing. He's already have all the anointing. God has given it to him. And more are coming. You know, and some more are coming. So he is fully, you know, blessed by God. He's a chosen one. Mm. He has been chosen from God. There is no doubt about it. But I'm praying one day there should be an apparition, an apparition in ministry of Zion. Then they will know what is happening. Thank you, ma'am. Okay? Thank you, ma'am. So the Virgin Mary is going to come down on Zion ministry. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the final. And I'm praying for that. It's okay. going to happen. Thank you so much. So, okay. um, yes. Uh, sister, yes, what advice do you have for those people that are saying trash to Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Zihobi? Now, leave Evangelist Bukobi out of it. Oh, the advice I'm going to give to people is they should come, they should test and see. Some of them are far. Some of them have not been in Zion. They just carry the story and start, you know, going all over the place. They should come. It's just like somebody that gave testimony today. She said she and her husband, when they hear Zion, even you mentioned to the kids, but now they came and gave testimony after she encountered Daddy in her dream. They should leave him alone and mind their business. And especially, the annoying part is we, what I mean, our one feeble. We are the one attacking Ebuka, our daddy in the Lord, saying, Arrange, Arrange. I wish I would come down. I need that Arrange so bad. <laughs> Honestly, Thank I need you. it. Thank you so much. And then to Evangelist Ebukobi, okay. I will tell him one now, Kuchiri. Use cotton wool, glue your ears, 
your, 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 I mean, your focus upon all the things they said, you still come out and preach. Thank you. So, sir, I want to ask you this question outside the whole picture. Yes, you know, you are a father. I saw your kids, cute, handsome. I saw them. I said, no, no, this year I must get married. I must. Bro, I've just been living my life. No, no. <laughs> sir, <laughs> please, do you, what, what, what are you going to say concerning Evangelist Sebukobi life in terms of him getting married? Do you think he should get married or you think he should not get married? Um, I will not get into that. I will let him deal with the Holy Spirit on that issue because it's not for me to say. Even if I say, he will still listen to the Holy Spirit. Now, the reason why I ask that question is because I love the answer you gave me is because of some people online that have been saying, you must get married this year. If you don't get married, they will deal with him. I don't understand. So that's why I ask that question. Uh, they can't tell him what to do. And the good thing that he listens to yeah, the I, I like that he listens to the Holy Spirit. So, so whatever you're saying, you're saying it on your own. Right. Till that spirit says, that's what I want you to do. You understand? That, and that's what he does. And, and mm. to add to that, you know, with his virginity anointing, he has it. And a lot of them, they don't have it. You know, mm. those who I'm talking now, they have lost yes. Mm -hmm. and so some they of them, really. you know, mm -hmm. even I was listening to one of them, I don't need to mention it, that told him to go and marry. Yes. And his idea was him for to lose that virginity at yes. But he's a smart guy. Mm. He has the wisdom. Mm. You know, he has the unshot. Mm. Preach on, God. sister. You know? so he, has, on. <laughs> he has the grace. So he's a very, very talented young man. Very his wisdom. Mm. Is greater than any of them. The ten or one. You know? one yes, he can't that's lose the it. They want him to lose that virginity. That's so the... once he loses it, that power mm. will be going down. And that...